Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Christmas Eve, 9.30 p.m. worship. Glad that you could all be here with us tonight. The bulletin has the liturgy and the music in it. Please rise for our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the Word made flesh, our life and our salvation. Amen. Trusting the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior, let us confess our sin. God of life, you promise good news of great joy for all people and call us to be messengers of your peace. We confess that too often we hoard our joy, our resources, and our security. We nurture conflict and build barriers. We neglect the needs of our neighbors and ignore the groaning of creation. Have mercy on us. Where we are self-centered, open our hearts. Where are, we are reluctant, give us courage. Where we are cynical, restore our trust. Renew us with your grace and give us again the hope of eternal life in you. Hear the good news. We are children of God and heirs of God's promises through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus, we are forgiven and redeemed. Sing with joy, for all the ends of the earth shall know the salvation of God. Amen. Amen.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Please be seated as we light the Advent wreath. The prophet Isaiah pro proclaimed a time when those who walked in the shadows would see a great light. A light would shine and a child would be born to us. The evangelist Luke painted the nativity sky and repeated the heavenly song of the angels, glory, peace on earth, and goodwill. John declared that this great light is Christ, the Word made flesh. The great light lives among us, and by it we behold God's glory, full of grace and truth. At Christ's nativity we now rejoice. Rejoice, people of God. The light has come into the world with the company of heaven and with the sounds of great joy. God comes to us. This is the time of light and resplendent joy. God has been born among us. Let us join in singing, A Candle is Burning. Let us pray. Christ is born. Our Savior has come. Let the celebration begin. Let us join hands and hearts and make our way to where our Savior is born. Come bow before the Savior and allow Christ to be born anew in your hearts this holy night. Fill us with your spiritual gifts. And in the midst of the season's twinkling lights, help us to reach out to the poor, the homeless, the grieving, the unloved, and all your hurting children. Teach us forgiveness, patience, and joy. We pray that the peace and the goodwill of which the angels sang will come upon earth through our love for one another. Amen. Peace. 
from above and for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian.
For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We will say the psalm responsive by whole verse. Um, simply means I say the odd verses, you say the even. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among the peoples. For great is the Lord and great is to be praised. More to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But you, O Lord, have made the heavens. Majesty and magnificence are in your presence. Power and splendor are in your sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is King, the one who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved, will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy at your coming, O Lord, for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with your truth. The second reading comes from Titus, the second chapter. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce imp impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly. While we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy. For all the people, to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. be seated. Grace and peace to you from God and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In a quaint village nestled between snow-capped mountains, there lived a spirited young boy named Sammy. Christmas Eve was Sammy's favorite night of the year. It was filled with twinkling lights and joyous carols and the anticipation of miracles. Once upon a time in a land steeped in holiday magic, Sammy discovered a withered old book in the dusty attic of his home. The pages of that book were yellowed and the cover bore the title, The Christmas Star Chronicles. Intrigued, Sammy began to read, and as he turned the pages, he was transported into a magic, magical world of holiday enchantment. The story unfolded with the legend of the lost star. That star held the power to bring extraordinary blessings to those who found it on Christmas Eve. The lost star was said to have a heart of pure light and its glow could illuminate even the darkest corners of the world, filling hearts with joy, spreading goodwill. Legend said that 
this star was a beacon of hope and joy and that it had the ability to make wishes come true. As the holiday season approached, whispers of the lost star's imminent appearance circulated. Among all the inhabitants of the enchanted land, they were full of expectation. The anticipation was palpable, and people from all walks of life embarked on a quest to find the lost star and to bask in its wondrous glow. Well, Sammy couldn't shake the idea of finding the lost star. Determined, he bundled up in his warmest coat. He found an old lantern and armed with a map that had been passed down through the generations. I know I'm dating myself. We have GPS today. But he had a map. Sammy set out on a journey through snow-covered forests, twinkling meadows, and shimmering rivers guided only by the soft glow of the moon. Then Sammy ventured into the quiet woods. As Sammy walked through the glistening snow, he encountered various challenges, a frozen stream, thickets of brambles, a swirling snowstorm. But he pressed on, fueled by the hope of discovering the elusive Christmas star. Throughout his journey, Sammy encountered magical creatures and helpful companions, each contributing a piece to the puzzle of where did he or could he find this star. And along the way, he learned valuable lessons about kindness and generosity and the true meaning of the holiday spirit. As Sammy drew closer to the heart of the forest, the air itself seemed to hum with anticipation. Finally, stumbling upon a clearing bathed in the elegant glow of a thousand stars, there it was, the lost star, resting atop a pedestal of glistening snowflakes. Overwhelmed with joy and with a heart full of gratitude, Sammy made a heartfelt wish for the well-being and the happiness of his family, for his friends, and for his entire village. And to his amazement, the star responded, showering the surroundings with a gentle glow. The magic of the Christmas star had touched every corner of the forest. It brought warmth to the coldest hearts, and it filled the world with a sense of unity and joy. Filled with gratitude, Sammy returned home, his heart just brimming with the spirit of Christmas. And the next morning, the entire village awoke to a wondrous sight. The wish had not only come true, but had brought a magical transformation to their world. And from that day forward, Sammy's village embraced the Christmas Eve tradition of making wishes upon a Christmas star. So, on Christmas Eve night, many, many years ago, Another star graced the skies, a rather special star. Ancient scriptures and prophecies from a weathered old book the arrival of a child that was destined for greatness. This child's birth was foretold by messianic prophecies, foretelling the coming of a savior who would bring redemption and salvation and fulfill a divine purpose. A sign would be a star guiding them over Bethlehem. In villages and on hillsides, they marveled, full of hope and full of wonder, as Mary and Joseph welcomed their son, whom they named Emmanuel, meaning God with us. The birth of Jesus is the embodiment of God's grace appearing to humanity, divine grace in the form of a child, and Jesus is the ultimate expression of God's love and the means through which salvation is offered to everyone. The brilliance of the star showered a unique blessing upon that newborn, and a radiant light surrounded the humble stable where he lay. The legend of the lost Christmas star and the story of Emmanuel's birth became intertwined, forever linking the enchantment of the holiday season with the timeless message of love and hope and the extraordinary blessings that come when celestial and divine powers 
come together in harmony. So on each Christmas Eve, as families gather around the hearth, the story of that humble manger, a precious babe, nestled in the warmth of swaddling clothes. This infant, born amidst the simplicity of a stable, carries profound significance that transcends the modest surroundings. The radiant light that envelops the scene speaks of a divine presence, as if the heavens themselves have bent down to witness this extraordinary moment. In the midst of that scene, the babe in the manger embodies hope and promise. He becomes a symbol of love and grace that extends be far beyond the rustic confines of any setting that he was born in. And the lost but found Christmas star serves as a reminder that in the darkest of nights, hope and love always illuminate the path to miracles making Christmas and the season of Christmas a season of wonder and joy for everyone. Because Emmanuel, God with us, is among us this very night. Merry Christmas. Amen. On this sacred night, let us profess our faith through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's good news of great joy for all people, let us offer our prayers for ourselves, for our neighbors, and for the world that God loves. Glory to you, God, for the song of the angels proclaiming to the world Christ's holy birth. Give your church a joyful song to sing that we may bring good news of peace and salvation to all people. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. glory to you, God, for the stars that shine in the depths of the nights provoke all in our hearts at the expansive mystery of the cosmos. Open us to find beauty in the clear darkness of night and in the first glimmers of dawn. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. glory to you, God, for the child born to us who establishes a kingdom of justice and righteousness. Break bonds of oppression, bring reconciliation to warring lands, and establish peace from, the time, from this time onward and forevermore. Lord, in your mercy, glory to you, God, for Mary's loving care. Lead us to tend to one another in time of need. Share the comfort of your presence with all people tonight who are alone or separated from loved ones due to estrangement, incarceration, or illness. Hear us, O oh God, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Glory to you, God, for the faithfulness of the shepherds in their vocation. Grant rest to any who feel exhausted from their work during this season of retail and restaurant workers and church musicians, administrative staff and clergy, organizers of charitable giving events, and service workers doing essential tasks. Lord, in your mercy. Glory to you, God, for the multitude of the heavenly hosts. We rejoice in the zeal of all your saints, all who have revealed to us the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. hear our prayer. Abide with us, O God of mercy, and receive our prayers according to your abundant grace. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace with one another. You want both? There you go.
Let us pray. God of abundance, receive and bless these gifts that we have offered. Join our hearts with the song of the angels and gather us at your table of celebration. Strengthen us to share with all the world the abundance of your grace upon grace that is poured out in Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks for the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and our praise. Worship and praise belong to you, holy God, our source and our ending, our Alpha and our Omega. You have called all creation into being, setting the earth on its foundations. You have spread out the heavens like a curtain, filling the earth with goodness. As a mother gathers her children, so you gather people to teach us the way of passion and love. You sent Christ, your son, to dwell among us, to be the message of an angel, to be born of the Virgin Mary. You sent your Holy Spirit to draw us into deeper faith, to inspire us to greater works and to sustain us in our calling. Now with all creation, we raise our voice to proclaim your glory and sing your praise. <coughs> In these latter days, God leaned toward the earth and spoke to us by a son, Jesus the Beloved. Born of our sister Mary and the Holy Spirit, guarded by our brother Joseph with fatherly care. Jesus came among us as a helpless babe, cradled beside the beasts and warmed by their breath. Human as we are in need of human love, kings bowed down before bringing gifts, and emperors were troubled by his reign. This child, in whom all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, the word of God was made flesh and dwelt among us, and his flesh and his blood were given to us in his final gift of grace. And as a servant, Jesus emptied himself of might upon the cross, and as the risen anointed one is enthroned at God's right hand, to bring mercy and justice to all the earth at the end of days. At supper with his disciples, he took bread and he offered you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them saying, take and eat. This is my body. It is broken for you. After supper, he took the cup. He offered it to you and gave thanks to it, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is poured out for you and for everyone, that sins may be forgiven. Do this for the remembrance of me. We now obey your son's command. We recall his blessed passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Made one with him, we offer you these gifts, and with them ourselves, a single, holy, living sacrifice. Hear us, most merciful God, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and this wine, that overshadowed by his life-giving power, they may be the body and blood of your Son, and may be kindled, and, and we may be kindled with the fire of your love and renewed for the service of your kingdom. Help us who are baptized into the fellowship of Christ's body to live and work to do your praise and glory. May we grow together in unity and love 
until at last in your new creation we enter into our heritage in the company of the Virgin Mary, the apostles and prophets, and of all our brothers and sisters living and departed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be to you, Lord of the ages, world without end. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Come to the table of peace.
please rise. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have fed us at this table with gifts of grace and truth and life. As you have gathered us in joy, send us forth as messengers of your peace. Make us shine with the good news of your glory that, that born to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. now and sing Silent Night while I look for the John 2 passage that I know is here somewhere.
A reading from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of the people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Blessed are you, Prince of Peace, for you rule the earth with truth and justice. Send your gift of peace to all nations of the world. Blessed are you, wonderful Counselor. You enlighten the heart with steadfast love. Enliven your church, that it might bear good tidings of great joy to all people. Blessed are you, Emmanuel, your promise to be with us even to the end of the age. Open our eyes to see your presence in all who are hungry, lonely, or homeless. Blessed are you, son of Mary, you share our humanity. Have mercy on the sick, the dying, and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, son of God, for you dwell among us as the word made flesh. Reveal yourself to us in the word and the sacrament that we may bear your life to all the world. Amen. God bless you and keep you. Jesus grant you grace and truth, and the Spirit send peace upon your hearts, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Joy to the world.
Christ the Savior is born. Go in peace. Proclaim this good news. Thanks be to God. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.